You're about to experience one of the most epic restaurants on Hilton Head Island ever. We are at Broad Creek Marina, we are on the water, and I'm talking about this amazing view. Come with me for a brand new lunchbox lesson. So guys, today I have the privilege of being here with Tisha Schaefer. Hi Tisha, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank great you. Great to be here with you. I love it. Always exciting and fun. So Tisha is new with Coast, but she's definitely not re new to real estate. She's been in real estate for almost 20 years. So if you're looking for someone with a lot of experience, this is your girl right here. <laughs> 20 years, yeah, doing real estate on the island, so it's been a long time, but... And she's known great. Rick and Tristan for that long too, right? I think a little bit longer, but you know, we're, we're, we're not going to reveal how old we really are. <laughs> so Tisha, this restaurant is so rich in um, history and culture. It Why is. don't we talk to our viewers about that a little bit? Yeah, so I picked this restaurant because of the history behind it. So Fish Camp here on Broad Creek, um, originally the land was owned by the Simmons family and Charlie Simmons was a boat captain and for those of you that don't know there was not always a bridge to yeah. Hilton Head right so before there was a bridge Charlie Simmons was known as Mr. Transportation, Transportation yeah. so he was the one who would go back and forth from Hilton Head the waters of Hilton Head to Savannah up through Broad Creek through the May River over to Savannah and bring all of the goods yeah. back to the native islanders that they couldn't grow themselves That's so he was known as mr transportation and the history of this place is absolutely amazing so when yeah. you come to the island definitely come and check out this restaurant it is fantastic yeah and his last boat was actually called the alligator and on that boat he brought over charles frazier who we all know is the person who developed hilton Head and put the world's eyes on hilton Head. Really cool. And they built the building in 1955, which was right. the year before they built the bridge. Before they built the bridge. And this is the original shell mm -hmm. of, of the building. That's so amazing. all of the, the timber is original to what they brought over from Bluffton from the Almer family. That's so it's just a great place that, yeah. that you definitely need to check out. And the food looks amazing. And the too. food yeah. is, look at this spread, absolutely yeah. amazing. Incredible. I can't wait to dig in. Me too. Before we do that though, um, do you want to tell everyone a little bit about the market in this area? Yeah, so this area of the island, it's sort of a hidden gem, really. So there are some neighborhoods that you can't even see from Marshland Road. Mm -hmm. So Peregrine Point, the back gate to Indigo Run, we've got Silver Moss, we've got um, a great condo complex right down the road called Summer House, which is perfect for first time home buyers looking to enter the market. So if you're in that 350 price range for a two bedroom condo, you can't beat Summer House. Mm -hmm. And then of course the prices go up when you get on the water to, you know, over a million and multi-million dollar properties, which is expected on the island. Yeah. But some of the neighborhoods you can really get into for around the $500,000 price range, which for the island is yeah. a great value. So don't discount not being in a gated community or not in a gated community because these neighborhoods do provide a great value for people looking in that price point. So definitely give us a call to check out these little pockets of communities that you wouldn't even know existed unless you have an agent that really knows the area. Exactly. And if we look at the um, seven day market watch for the last seven days, um, the, the properties do seem to be coming down in price a little bit. We have new listings, 112 new listings right now on the market. We have active under contract 19, under contract 119. So things are looking good. Which we've is seen a good thing for some, the buyers. yeah, we've seen some price reduction. So we've had a good number of properties come on the market but also a good number of properties also go under contract so the market is definitely stabilizing but we are seeing some price reductions which is great for buyers that have been sort of sitting back waiting to see what's going to happen in the market now these prices are coming down you know slowly but surely so if you've been sitting on the sidelines now is definitely the time to check it out and give us a call. So Tisha just gave us a great report. Yep. We're about ready to dive in. We are ready to dig into yeah. all of this food. So they have been so good to us today. We have the seafood tower. We have shrimp and polenta. How good does that look? Tacos, salmon. Cheers. Cheers. Let's ready to in. dig in. Yep. 